This is it. Tatlock's Textiles. He's the one. He stole Grand Ruby. We don't know that for sure. When have my instincts ever been wrong? and he'd been in trouble. It's funny, though. Funny? This factory, it's like stepping back in time. You're right. That Tatlock, he's got a lot of explaining to do. Come on. Right. But we'd better be careful. We don't want to make him suspicious. What's going on, Eli? Why did the gong go off? Uh, a mistake, Mr. Tatlock? Rubbish. That gong only goes off when you stop working. Now get on with it. I don't want any more skyming. Yes, Mr. Tatlock. Ah, Tatlock. Where were you on the night of the 4th of February between 7 and 7.15 p.m.? I was with you. Ah, uh, yes. Well, hey, showing you my watch. At precisely 7.14, you offered to clean it for me. Ah, but how can you be so sure? Because it hasn't worked since. It's still stuck at 7.14. No more questions. Now, perhaps you'd explain what you're doing here on my property. Ah, yes, well, uh, Barry? Uh, suffice to say, we're investigating an incident that occurred at Dan Van's Grand's party. Mm, and suffice to say that if you don't give me more information, I'll sling you out. An item was removed without her permission, and we're attempting to locate it. That's right. Somebody nicked something. You're accusing me of being a thief? How dare you! Nobody's accusing you of anything, Mr. Tatlock. Well? Would you mind pressing your fingers into this, please? Yeah, I'm a well-respected member of the local community. And now on the paper? Certainly. Thank you. You! Just routine. What's in here, then? Now, then! Mind your own business! Get out! Go on! If I see you around here again, I'll have you arrested! Did you see the way he jumped up when I mentioned that back room? I wonder what he's got in there. Dunno, but I'm going to find out. How? Dunno. Well, he's not going to tell us. Maybe the workers will know. Eh? Right. But you just be careful not to upset him this time. Me? Hey, look, it's the true southerner. Uh, we're sorry if we upset you earlier. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Oh, what's this? What? You've never seen a pen before? Well, not one like this. Where's the ink? Oh! <laughs> oh, you think that's funny, do you? Uh, no. Yeah. Try a pen, sir. Thank you. Now, we wondered if you knew anything about Mr. Tatlock's office. Well, of course I do, bonny lad. I'm a kink holder, you know. Ah, good. Now, what? what's this? That's food. You're supposed to add water. Oh, it's delicious. Here, mm. everybody, mm. try it. Can you tell us about the back room? Mm. What is that? Oh, I don't know. I've never tasted out like it. Is there any way of getting... You must have. They're everywhere. Any way not of... around here, they're not. Oh, they are. They're in all the shops. Well, I don't go to the shops. Will you pair her up and listen to me? I'll read some. Calm down, calm down. Now, what was it again? Mr. Tatlock's office? Yes. Well, I can tell you about his office. Because I'm a key holder, you know. Good. Now, what I want to oh, know... quick! Hi! Hey, get in here! Eli! What's happened now? We're getting nowhere here. I know. I think I'm stuck. I mean, generally. I'm going to slip to Tatlock's office. You'll find out from this lot what they know about the ruby. 
Okay. But whatever you do, try not to excite him too much. Okay. You'd better pull your socks up, Eli. I don't want any more of this nonsense. Yes, Mr. Tartlock. In the clock. Works well, doesn't it? Oh. Good stuff in here. Wow! A portable gas lamp! That's amazing! Look at that! Oh! The fireworks! Right, that's it. You better get back to work now. You've seen everything there is. Oh, have you got them now, now? No, that's it. Oh, I forgot about me watch. Oh, it's magic. No, it isn't. I got it at the hypermarket. Where? In town. What is it now? Nothing, sir. Hat. I know somebody's up, and I want to know what. I don't know what you mean, sir. Look, Eli, if you want to stay on as a key holder, you'll tell me exactly what's going on here today. It's not our fault, sir. We've been learning about such extraordinary machines, we can scarcely believe our ears. Machines? Machines are none of your business. Who told you about machines? The man. The man who's here. Where? I don't see anyone. Oh, he's gone. There were two of them. Two of them? Something's up. Tatlock just came into the factory. He's acting very strange. I'm not surprised. He has got the ruby. It's in this room. Well, how are we going to get in there? Sure, do you know, but brilliant. <laughs> Come on, then. to say. This has got nothing to do with you, I think. What could I do? You didn't show him that thing. I forgot about it. It went off by mistake. They seem to like it. Well, that's it. They'll never come back now. What's Mr. Tatlock going to say? We'll have to get the ruby before he finds out. But we haven't got a key. Well, Mr. Tatlock will have a key. Oh, yes. He'll just give it to us, won't he? Well, that's it. I'm a genius. Just wait here until he falls asleep. What if he doesn't? Oh, he will. He's just the type. No imagination. He'll be out like a light in no time. Paul. Paul! Paul! He's fallen asleep. Oh, great. Come on. Now you wheel him out. And whatever you do, make sure you don't wake him up.
What's that? Stupid thing. What the? Where am I? My ruby! Quick, let's go. Tatlocks won't knock. Oh, there you are. We were just coming to find you. What are you doing here? Uh, well, we're looking for a ruby, Mr. Tatlock. Ruby? So you know. We've known all along. Fancy stealing from a little old lady. What? I haven't stolen anything. Ah, I suppose Graham just gave you the jewel. Jewel? What are you talking about? I wasn't talking about a real ruby. I was talking about this. The clattering ruby. Like a spinning jenny. Only better. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Now, if you care to leave me and my workers alone, I have a business to run. Ah, your workers. What about my workers? I'm afraid we've got some bad news. They've all walked out. What? I think it was my watch that finally did it. They've all gone to live in the 21st century. We don't know what to say. We're very sorry. This is wonderful news. What? I was wondering how to get rid of them. I don't need them anymore. Not with the clattering ruby. They can do the work of 50 men, the bird. <laughs> I think it's time we're going now, Mr. Ruby. Yes, bye. No, you must see. This machine is going to make my fortune. Oh, dear. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> we'll be off then. We think that's best. Evening, Mr. Tutlock. Eli! Let me give you a raise. I'll have double your wages. And the others. Just say you're not leaving. But we're not leaving, Mr. Tatlock, but thank you for the raise. We thought you'd gone for good. Why, no, bonny lad. We just wanted to pop out for something. What? You'll never guess.